Hi everyone, my name is Kamya and I am a STEM for Success mentor as well as a student at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Today we'll be conducting the storm in the glass experiment. This is a water-based experiment and we'll be exploring all the different cool properties of water. Let's get started. So what we're going to be needing for today's experiment is a large clear cup, shaving cream, food coloring, a spoon, a small bowl, and a napkin in case your workplace gets dirty. First, you're going to fill up your large cup halfway with water. You're also going to fill up your small bowl with water. Next, we're going to take our shaving cream, mix it up, and fill up our cup until the cup is about three quarters of the way full. Make sure that after the cup is filled with shaving cream, you smooth down the shaving cream so that we have one smooth surface. Now, setting our cup aside, we're going to take our bowl and mix in a few drops of any food coloring of your choice. Make sure you mix until all of the food coloring is dissolved into the water. Now comes the fun part. Spoon by spoon, you're going to take your colored water and pour it into your cup and see the storm that's created underneath the shaving cream. Look at your glass. What do you observe? Are the layers separating or mixing? These are good questions to consider as we learn how this mechanism works. There are two scientific mechanisms to explore here. The first mechanism has to do with how precipitation happens in nature. Precipitation is when water vapor from the air condenses or turns from gas to water and then falls from clouds due to gravity. This can be in the form of rain, sleet, hail, or snow. In this experiment, you saw that with the first few spoons of colored water, the shaving cream, which represents clouds, did not let any color get through because the colored water was not heavy enough. However, as soon as there was enough water, the layer broke loose and created the storm we saw underneath the layer of shaving cream. The second mechanism has to do with something called density. Density is how much space something takes up based on how heavy it is, and it determines what sinks or floats in water. In this experiment, for example, shaving cream was the least dense since it floated on top of everything else. This is because shaving cream is made up of so much air that it is lighter than water, allowing the colored water to seep through and mix with the non-colored water at the bottom. Here are some things to consider when you do this experiment on your own. Does the amount of shaving cream affect how many spoons of colored water you need to start your storm? What about the amount of water in your cup? Or, how do you make a tie-dye storm with multiple colors? Thank you guys for tuning in to today's presentation. We really appreciate it. And remember, STEM is everywhere around you.